As of today, September 24th, Uber's mask policy is now in full force. It's being enforced in the United States and in Canada. In this video, I'm going to share with you the details of Uber's mask policy and stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you whether I think this mask policy goes far enough to protect us, the drivers. Everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Today I'm uh, drinking my Pellegrino. It's the middle of the day. I buy cases of this stuff at Costco. Good, good for you. Mineral water. I love it. <clears throat> All right. So a little background. <clears throat> this pandemic started in earnest in February. That's when I stopped driving. So we got February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, like seven, eight months. And now we've got an official Uber mask policy that's in full effect. And it's designed to uh, protect the drivers, really. Um, up until this point, uh, it's been mandatory that the drivers wear a mask, right? You have to do a selfie before you start your shift. It's been a little loose with the passengers well that's changed and i'm going to cover uh, what exactly the mask policy is number one what is the uber mask policy all right so this is what we've got uh, when we say no mask no ride we mean it well sort of as you'll see so if we go down to the second paragraph here one of uber's policies which we announced in may is a mandatory mask policy but since then, we've heard from drivers like you that not everyone is following the rule. So starting today, we've expanded mask verification to riders. All right. So again, May to June to July to August to September. That's four months. Four months. Yeah, we've known that passengers weren't adhering to it and there was no enforcement. Um, so while I applaud you know, Uber for having this policy, what took so long? I guess that's what I want to say. What took so long? So here's how it works. You drive up to somebody and they don't have a mask on. Well, you can just immediately cancel, drive away, and report them for no mask. So what's gonna happen then is the next time that passenger wants to take a ride, they're going to have to take the selfie to prove that they have the mask on, otherwise no ride. That's one option. Second option would be to stop Ask the passenger if they would put on a mask, perhaps offer them a mask, and they will say, yes, I'll take the mask and wear it, and off you go, right? If you have a long ride, maybe an airport run, you want the ride, right? And masks are pretty inexpensive, so that would be an option. Third option would be they say, no, I don't want to, I don't believe in it, right? I'm, I'm anti-mask. Well, you could still let them in your car and give them a ride. Again, if it's a long ride, you might feel... You know, I'll roll down my windows. I've got my mask on. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll risk it, <clears throat> right? But then that passenger, you can still report that they didn't have a mask on. Uh, if you give them a rating of four or below, and then the next time they ride, they're going to have to do the selfie. Or you don't have to report them. See, so it all falls on the shoulders of us, the, the drivers. Which begs the question, why? Why don't we just make it? Uh, mandatory that the passengers have to take a selfie before each ride. Okay, number two, the passenger selfie. So it's super simple. Uh, the passenger on their end, they're just going to have to, you know, take the picture just like we've been doing, you know, when we take our selfies um, through the Uber app. Well, through the passenger app, um, it's just going to be the same policy. All right, super simple. Uh, no big deal. This is uh, provided on the uh, Uber website, and this is what it looks like for the passenger, right? So this would be a passenger who was reported and said, no mask, no ride. All right. So it starts with this. Take a photo of yourself. It shows you how to do it. Take the picture. Thanks for verifying. All right. And what did that take? That took like 10 seconds. So again, I'm gonna raise the question, why don't we have this policy for every single ride so that we make sure 
everybody has a mask all the time. That would be, uh, I think, uh, a more appropriate response. Number three, passengers deactivations. All right. Uber has reported that there have been over 1,250 deactivations. Right. We see here holding riders accountable. And we see that uh, riders in violation of our no mask, no ride policy have received multiple warnings and education materials. In fact, since we implemented our policy in May, over 1,250 riders in the U.S. and Canada have been removed from the platform. All right. So that's what's happened. 1,250. Out of all the millions of passengers, 12, only 1,250 have been deactivated. So that either tells us that there aren't many people who aren't wearing a mask or um, just a small percentage of people are actually getting reported enough times that they get deactivated. Number four, how do you report um, a passenger that they don't have a mask, right? So here again from Uber, they say leaving feedback is simple. Um, as long as you rate somebody with four stars or less, right? Um, then you can report no face cover or mask. Um, or you can just cancel on the ride, like I said, and report no face cover or mask, okay? And then if either of those occur, then the passenger is going to have to take a selfie. So here's my question to Uber. Why not make everybody, uh, every passenger take a, a selfie? Since you require it of the drivers, why not require it of the passengers? That way we would have 100% compliance. When a boat has many leaks, if you plug up just some of the leaks, the boat's still gonna sink, right? Why not plug them all up, make sure we have 100% compliance, make sure everybody's safe, not make it mandatory on the, uh, that the drivers have to do the reporting, right? I don't understand, what's the big deal? What's the big deal for a passenger to do a selfie? It takes all of 10 seconds. And then you know everybody who's participating in the Uber or the Lyft ride um, is safe, at least safer because everybody's wearing a mask. I don't understand that. Why not go 100%? That's a question I pose to Uber. Number five, Uber provides supplies. So I don't wanna come down too hard on Uber. Um, it's great that we do have the policy, right? And it certainly does more to protect the drivers and they're also providing a lot of uh, free supplies. So as we see here, things like um, sanitizer, wipes, masks, okay? You can order this stuff through the app and you can uh, pick it up at a green light hub or you can have it delivered to your home. Key takeaways. Good on Uber for strengthening their policy and making it more difficult for passengers that don't wanna wear a mask to uh, have to wear a mask. I would like to see it go further because I'm all about the drivers. And why not make it 100% safe by making it mandatory that passengers wear that mask all the time. We're in a pandemic, 200,000 people have died so far. We're not, we're not, on, this, we're not on the downslope. We are like plateauing at a very high level and we're coming into the winter when the numbers are supposed to start getting even worse why not make it 100% compliant? Why not make the passengers take their selfies, make the drivers take their selfies, and then we know that the people who are in the car are both wearing a mask, even if it's a very, very small percentage. Why, why have that small percentage? A very small percentage of all of the rides is still a pretty big number, and that can lead to death. So that's my real, issue here so why not make it 100% compliant so I, I applaud uber for strengthening it i would like to see it go further and perhaps if we hit the 300,000 uh death mark uh, uh we'll, we'll get we'll get a stronger more stringent policy that's that's my hope hey everybody thanks for watching this is jay crater with the rideshare guy wishing you to have a really happy and safe day out there um, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel subscribe Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, when you subscribe, be sure and sign up for notifications and that way we'll let you know uh, when we do our next YouTube Live. We're gonna be doing one pretty soon here, okay? We got this hot topic of Prop 22. We got a lot of, a lot of things going on. It's a very exciting time in the ride share 
truck driver industry. All right, you go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there.